I believe in a hero Cause a hero comes along With the strength to carry on And hits the dark for you There's nothing like A you Alright guys, wait for it um, Okay, everybody is debating Which one we should go to 17433, this looked like a Spanish session, my friends. But everybody, everybody is communicating. We got two fenders on one side. They're gonna go against the current and a little Yamaha jet boat. My friends, my name is Alfred Montaner and I know this is gonna be an intro. Oh no, do. No, they're not gonna be the chicho. They are gonna be the chicho. Oh boy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They want to come over here, do a full circle, make sure. This Nauti star is uh, shot kidding. I wave. Inside, internally, I say, F you. You, you monster. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't say F you. I didn't even think that. But it came out afterwards, so maybe I did. A drunk man's words! Uh-oh. Wait. Motor, motor, motor? No, no. Wait. Wait. Kind of, kind of, kind of low. Kind of low. Kind of low. Oh, but hold on, my friends. We got the... We got what we're here for. Uh-oh. We got it? We got it? Oh, no. I see a guy in the water in my mind. Against the current. Oh, no! Some guy goes, oh, we're going to the other dock anyways. Well, I might as well. Let's just say hello to this. Oh, whiskey throttle at the end, for sure. 100%. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody stick out your legs. Stick out your legs. Saca los pies, caballero. Saca los pies. Saca pie, por favor. No me metes el pie, bro. No me metes el pie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this, from Guatemala to Guadalajara, uh-oh, this guy should get a job. This guy should get a job at the boat ramp. Wow, and still, I bet you there won't be enough. Wait for it. Uh-oh, they're gonna ramp it. They're gonna ramp it. Oh, no. Why you gotta shot kill me, bro? Why, bro? Why, bro? Why? Why, bro? Why? Oh, my God. Why, bro? I've been waiting for these Mancedos for 28 hours. All right. Well, after the near ramping, all right, I guess we're going to have to go back to the Nautic Star. I mean, see if they give us some love. Because, guys, when you shot kill, you become the prey. You know? It's like, you, you know, I have a little turtle in a turtle tank, right? I throw a dead fish in there. Nobody wants it. None of the turtles want it. But I throw one that's like still moving a little bit and it's halfway dead, but it's still kicking. It wants that one. You're that little turtle right now! <sighs> no, actually you're the fish. That's that's swerving! No, no. Damn it. He put himself right in the fire too. Oh, and it's an orchestrated attack on the shot. Another shot killer. Que gesto, caballero. What is this, bro? And we got music kill on the other side too. Alright, um. Well, whatever. We 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 got something. Oh my goodness, bro! What is going? There's a blown motor here, uh, blown speaker here for sure. I'm not even worried about the the music on this one because all right, these guys are back. All right, um, these guys are here coming back also, and we got some music. I can't wait to see. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that mo that speaker is pretty bad, dude. What what the hell happened to the speaker? Oh no, it's the same dude, bro. This guy last week got me, bro. Oh man, that's it, dog. This, uh, I'm gonna get him again, guys. I'm gonna get him again. Por favor, baja esa música, bro. por favor. 
Thank you. Thank you. At least his girl has decency, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Para meterte en el boat ramp ahí todo el tiempo, you're gonna go with your truck and you leave the music on while you're making your woman look like you? No joda, bro. ¿Qué pasa aquí? ¿Qué pasa aquí, caballero? Esto es el barcerismo de Jaelía. Jaelía has come over here, guys. Jaelía and Homestead. Oh, boy. It's after hours over here for sure, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she knows, she knows, she knows. She, she knows, she, she saw the camera at her, she was like, oh boy, I know, I know what this guy's saying, but we got another, we got another music killer over here, guys. Who's over here coming over here with the music? Let's see. Vamos, vamos a ver lo que pasa aquí en el boat ramp, guys. Oh my goodness. Wait. Well, my friends, wait for it. Welcome back, guys. Um, oh, I want to see what I want to see what Captain Eddie got. I want to talk to Captain Eddie, guys. I was filming yesterday. All right, so yesterday, which for you that's today. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a hat that says "Free Hats Tomorrow." And um, and then when you say it's tomorrow, I'm gonna say, "Well, it's tomorrow," and keep on going like. Tomorrow, tomorrow, it's gonna be infinite forever. Free hats tomorrow. But yes, um, Eddie Morales, Captain Eddie Morales, guys. We'll see, we'll, we'll get our fishing report over there now. I wonder if he's coming out again. But yes, oof, the fishing has been hot, guys. The snapper bite is on fire. Baby fish killer must be jonesing to go out on, uh, out of haul over. He goes out of haul over because he lives down uh, in the north side. Oh boy, what's going on over here? Well, at least the kids got the life jackets on. Throw, throw, throw the lines, throw the lines, please. Tíralo, tíralo. Oh no, the whiskey, oh, 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 oh man, oh man. Wow, dude, that is bad. Welcome to the chit show, guys. Ooh, whiskey throttle in reverse, um, damn it. That was absolutely nuts. Welcome to the Chit Show, guys. My name is Alfred Montaner, and that is... That's called gel coat damage. What the hell happened there? Oh, he's panicking. He's panicking. Panic at the disco. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. What is it? What is it? Pero que esto, caballero? I just got here. Uh-oh. She's got it. She's got it. Yo. Yo. Wow. That was, uh, look, look, look at this, this lady's like, please, where's my husband? I want to move the boat. Tamala la cosa. Oh my goodness, the boat ramp at Black Point is, guys, it's 100 degrees out here. And uh, it, it feels like it. It feels like it, 100% it feels like it. Wow, oh look at this guy inspecting the damage. Let me see. Yeah, bro, that's damage to your boat, dude. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work that out with the people. Like if it's not a big thing, guys, that's that's what the rub rails are for, right? But if he damages your boat, the person should at least say, hey, listen, I'll give you six grand to go ahead and fix it. Oh, six grand, what are you talking about? Nah, guys, listen, people over here, they'll fix their problems. They've done it in the past. I remember the crusher, the crusher rammed. Uh oh, there it is, the conversation. He, he looked at it, he gave the hand down, like, you're good, bro, you're good. There he is, and he says, look at, look at your boat, look at your boat. Your boat's the one that's messed up, homie. Not mine's, my thing is good! My thing's a sentry! Boy, oh boy, I'm glad I got that one. I just got here. <laughs> that, 
Daniel's behind me looking at me like, damn, I haven't had nothing happen. Alfred gets here and this thing gets hot. Woo, the boat ramp, my friends. It is absolutely nuts. Oh, speaking of nuts, um, I saw a video on, uh, on the Deep Blue channel. And then I saw like a follow-up video on Boat Zone. So there was smuggling that was happening from boats that were coming from Bimini. And what the guy essentially said in the video in Spanish, he said, listen, I go and I, I enjoy myself in Bimini. I have all these great times over there. And you know, I'm always hospitable, yada, yada, all this stuff. And uh, some guy on another boat said, hey man, you know, I don't have a GPS. You know, you mind if I follow you on the way in, you know? I only got one engine, da da da, whatever. So the guy was like, yeah, I'm going back. So, you, you know, he slowed down, you know, faster than what he went slower than what he normally would go. This is guys, this is all what was on the video. I don't know the truth. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just telling you what he said. And long story short, he said, well, um, like millions of dollars later of cocaine or marijuana, whatever the hell they were smuggling, because uh, I think it might have even been Officer George from Bow Harbor Police. You guys know Officer George, uh, super nice uh, guy from uh, Bow Harbor Police Department. Well, long story short, they got stopped. They asked them to go to, to the side, kind of like where Fishman Joe um, sells bait and stuff like that. And, and uh, the guy got arrested. And uh, this other guy that was basically just being uh, a good Samaritan, trying to help somebody that was in, you know, international waters or, or in this case Bimini leaving Bimini and uh, so his recommendation was you know if you're going in these groups to other countries just know that there's people that'll piggyback off of those moments and try to smuggle things and sometimes even people right which is crazy Tú no sabes lo que ha pasado ahora mismito, caballero. Tú estás en candela. Really? Really, bro. Oh God, bro. This guy just ate another boat. He ate it. Really? Yeah, he just ate it. Like, ate it. Like, wow, bro. Is it going to be on the channel? Yeah, it's going to be on the chit show, bro. Right. For sure. Hey, you hope those bad vibes are not over there in that little section of the water. Porque está mala el agua. Está la energía de madre, caballero. So yeah, going back to my story, guys, just be careful because not everybody has good intentions. You know what I'm saying? And you might have good intentions, but some people take advantage of your kindness. And uh, you know, all of a sudden they're, they're, they're smuggling kidneys to the United States and you're involved, you know what I'm saying? And you, and you, got, you got yourself on Only In Date and all the other social media channels over here. So. Yeah, I thought it was interesting because, um, and guys, if you haven't checked out those channels, check out Deep Blue Channel and The Boat Zone. Um, the Deep Blue Channel is mostly in Spanish, um, but he does a lot of adventures and he's done a lot of cool videos on his channel. Um, and, and, and keep in mind, guys, remember, that AI um, translation button is getting better. And at some point, YouTube will probably translate all the, I translate them using a person, right? But... There, there's going to be a, an AI function at some point that will translate meaning to meaning and stuff like that. It's, it's hard, a little harder with the slang from different, you know, dialects and stuff, but the boat ramp, guys, it's, it's, it's scorching. Speaking of scorching, I just re read right now, like, I just read it that they're, they're going to get rid of generators, like portable generators. Like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. The world is mad, dude. I'm, I mean, so the portable generators are not going to be, you're not going to be able to have a portable generator? What's up with that, dude? That's crazy. Like, if you live in a hurricane area, guys, you understand how important a generator is or, or blackouts. Like, I, I mean, mind you, there, there is alternatives and, and I, I'll probably be showing you guys some alternatives because I have some battery banks but you can't compare a battery bank to a, a gas generator. It's just not there. You know what I'm saying? It's not there. Now, if you work, if you combine both, right? 
a battery bank and one of those inverter solar generators beautiful thing you know especially if you have a dude if, if there was a blackout right now in miami with the temperature that it is uh i bro i think people would just lose it they'll, they'll go mad so yes i do have one of those battery banks actually if you guys remember the ian hurricane ian video the way that i was able to help my friend a buddy of mine that had no power is i i brought him a generator and then i gave him a battery bank and what what he did is in the battery bank he uh he had it inside i told him listen put this inside run one outlet from the gas generator outside run it all day keep that thing on charge you know get all the essentials that you need for power your refrigerator all your good stuff that you don't want your, your food and things to spoil and then it passes through that battery bank and then you're good it's always charged up at the end of the night you turn off your gas generator and you have your essentials maybe your fan um may maybe some lights off of your battery bank and you don't have the generator going crazy at night so that's i think that's a good alternative but uh you know how it is guys sometimes sometimes they throw these crazy uh proposals out there just to get headlines and distract you from other things that are in the news as well um like a little jeep but yeah it's it's interesting uh, like i said um it's very very interesting what's going on in the world but i'm not here to change it i'm here to do the chit show so if you want chit show content that's what i'm here for i just thought it was interesting because i was using a portable generator not too long ago and i know right now the food boat which is in charleston south carolina um department of energy if you want his address i'll let you know i'll give you his what three words his exact location right now man um he's he has a little portable generator running his whole live stream system and guys he has um he's already a partner youtube partner we started in july this is being filmed in july you might be watching at a different time but and a uh, long story short it's um it powers his whole live system and he's doing uh cooking uh, on the food boat and he's putting it on what's up guys welcome back They're not sleeping, they're crashing. The bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, and the food boat. Oh, I want to get this. I want to get this info from, from uh, oh, look, Captain Eddie's not on it. Oh, this is the kids. I got it, but the kids will tell. The, the kids will tell. Um, so yes, I'll be up there this Saturday. Um, and I'm going to go to a place he says it's called No Name Sandbar. Um, I think I saw Fort Johnson. All right. Um, this guy. He's good. He's good. Fort Johnson. Well, whatever. We're going to go over there. We're trying to get Fishman Joe to, to, to go with us. But, um, you know, Fishman Joe has Pilch, the pit bull, the killer pit bull. And um, I'm, I'm going to be the one to say it, guys. I'm the one who gets attacked on the boat. And I'm going to be on his boat again. And he knows that I'm hating on him. So he's going to attack me at some point again. So I don't want him in my truck. Joe all day. But I told him, I said, listen, we'll put him in a kennel. We'll put him in a kennel on the top of the roof. Right there on the top of the roof. Uh, <laughs> with a station wagon. Let's go. I actually have a list of back there um, on my scooter going around in circles, you know, to this is my, my youngest daughter for those of you guys that know. So she's back there. I, I told her, I told her don't, well, I'm not going to tell her what I told her because, you know, whatever, you know, the point is she's back there. I know guys, you know how it is. We got girls. We got girls. We got to protect the girls. All right, this guy's back, he's good. This guy's looking like he's having some shifting issues. What is going on here? It's like a little shifto, shifto, shifto? What is going on? Uh-oh, 
He's adjusting an audible, a, a Tom Brady audible. She's got it, she's got it. Welcome back to the boat ramp. Go along. So yeah, guys, I'm excited about that. Um, and if you haven't checked out the food boat, type in the food boat. And it's actually a barge and he has awesome chefs going. And that's, I think that's going to be a very successful uh, series because first of all, it's never been done. And who doesn't want to learn to cook, right? From, from well-known chefs of the local area. And mind you, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some people are in town that, that are going to say, hey, listen, I saw you on uh, the food boat. I'd like to go ahead and uh, show you some of my recipes from where I'm at. And that'll be, that'll be awesome. So big, big shout out to Derek. I'm glad he, he got monetized. And hopefully it'll be me, Andy from the Menorcan Mullet and Fishman Joe from Hanover. So we'll see. Uh, stay, stay tuned. Check out my community tab, guys. I'm, when, I'm, when I'm traveling and stuff, I'll let you guys when I'll do meet and greets and where I'm going to be and stuff like that. We got a little bit of chicho. I mean, I don't know if the other thing would be considered politics. I mean, it's just like they're just taking your generator. So that's like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, whatever, bro. Just give me your generator. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think maybe that was just like a tactic to, to get people to buy generators? You know what I'm saying? Like, we're gonna take it away. Psh! Generator sales skyrocket 97%. Um, this guy's coming in nice and slow. Damn, I don't know if I'm gonna get the fishing report. Those, those guys over there on Captain Eddie Morales' boat, which is, is probably his son, his older son. And um, Captain Eddie Morales is also a, a football coach. Well, he coached Aiden for the Palmetto Raiders, which were national champions, guys, national. Uh, head coach Ar Artis Knight, a legend down here, a legend. Where, I wonder where Coach Knight is at. And, and guys, I was the cameraman. And what I experienced with those, with that team, like I, I played football and I played sports my whole life and all that, but these guys were like, you offered, you, you got 20, 20, 24 hours to get this video uploaded and put on a YouTube unlisted so we can see what our opponents did. And they would do like, like it feels a professional team, dude. All right, we gotta go ahead and isolate number nine for sure. Um, Give the kids their task, you know, get number nine, get them out of the game. This is the threat. We knock him out, we're good. And sure enough, bro, we, we won. It was one of my proudest moments. Um, seeing Aiden in a, in a team like that. Oh, you guys got Mahi! Congrats, awesome! Hey, welcome back, man. How far were the dolphin? Far. Real far? How much? Wow, so you're over 2,500 feet of water. Coño. Bro, Publix. Publix. Oye, ma facil. It's for the fun. It's for the fun, right there. All right. Did you guys did you guys check in when you when you got to Bimini? <laughs> yeah, we're only an hour away. Actually. Did your did your channel did, did your your phone like clock in and say welcome to Bimini? Yeah, yeah. Your carrier? Yeah, oh my goodness. A lot of the mahi guys. Um, and I know I know I know there's gonna be people screaming. Oh, those are short guys. They're not short. They look a little smaller on camera. Um. I forgot, I forgot the uh, 20, 20, is it 20 guys coming below? What's the, uh, I should have like a, a, like a little poster here from fish rules here on the side. But it's good to see that. And you know, he's absolutely right. The, the memories is what counts guys. You know what I'm saying? 
um, it's the memories account. What is going on over here on the other side of this, guys? Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. I just got cheated on. Make I want to holiday, bro. Make I oh. This guy's laughing behind me, bro. What is this? this? This whole man is laughing at what just happened. What the hell, bro? All right, all right, guys, hold on. That little 200 is super quiet, let me tell you. When he was here, whisper, whisper, whisper. In Candela. All right. <laughs> oh boy, hold on, hold on. Is that them? No. I don't know, they're, they're doing a round two. Now, this was the day, guys. This was the day to go out on the water, but the real heat index was 108. So for those of you that have real heat indexes of higher than that, I'm sorry, dude. Straight up sorry, that is crazy. I have not seen Fred. All right, this guy's back. All right, he's, he's there. This guy's wearing a Mahi shirt too. He's getting pulled in by Boy, I gotta do a check in, dude. I gotta, I gotta check in on uh, on my little one. All right, guys, let me go ahead and find out where this is at. Oh boy, what is going on here? Look, he's got a little one too. Look at that. Now I gotta check on my little one. Maybe I see her back here. Hold on, let me see if I can see her. Hold on, guys. Alyssa, Alyssa is fine, I think. I think! But like, like really, you know what it is? I mean, bro, I rode, my, I, I mean, some some of my friends would, not my, my friend's parents would say, yeah, your parents don't care. And looking at it as a parent now, I definitely wouldn't have done the thing my parents did, for sure, 100%. Wait for it! Welcome back to the boat ramp! Wait for it. So yeah, they let me, they let me wander, dude, like a lot. Like I was, shoot. <laughs> it's a funny story. Now that you guys know Fishman Joe, and Fishman Joe, he nets a lot of his fish at a place called Newport Fishing Pier. And it was summertime. So my dad would talk to the front person was you know the same dude for years and my older brother that's just a year older albert the one supposedly is a better athlete than me according to one of the last few few videos whatever which is not true um i hate that guy I hate him so we were we were there we were hanging out right but uh, albert wanted to fish oh boy we got some stuff on that oh boy Wait for it. Oh no, we lost the ass of the boat. Oh, but he grabs it. Tremenda nota hats available. Luxuryribtenders.com. All right, he's got it. He manhandled it in. Um, 
So, Albert's fishing, I was dead, you know, after like 12 o'clock, right? You're fishing at night, and it was a 24 hour thing. So it was open 24 hours. And you see people and the visitors will come and this and that. Well, there was a teacher that I had in school that came, they're over there. I want to ask them what how the fishing was. They came to Newport Fishing Pier. Yours truly was sleeping on a bench, like a homeless child. And I was maybe third grade, third grade, 10 years old. Albert was 11, but he was an 11 year old that looked like he was 15 or 16, right? So keep that in mind. You know, I was, I was 11 and I looked nine. So skinny and little. Well, the teacher, I hear like, oh, I wonder what happened, you know? And I wake up. <laughs> and I think her name was Miss Vilar Chow. I hope she's watching. I hope she's still alive. Vilar Chow. Guys, anybody that went to Milam, you wouldn't know this, this name. Uh, she was in charge of yearbook. So, dude, was it Miss Vilar Chow? I think it was Miss Vilar Chow. Um, and I go, Miss Vilar Chow, what are you doing here? She looked at me like, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a problem. Then I started getting questions. Is everything okay at home? Da da da, blah blah blah. You know how it is, you know, the whole thing. So my dad had to like do damage control. Hey, listen, I know the person here. I don't let them leave. They're fishing all night. I know where they're at. And they beat me when they when they want to get picked up. And I picked them up. And that's just the way it was. But now thinking about it, I won't do that to my kids. Hell no. In Miami? Hell no. These kids don't know. The night, the night guys, the night. Just talk to an Uber. Talk to an Uber that works overnights. Guys, because people be drinking. Mm -mm -mm. Man, I thought it was going to be busier. And there's more, more, more boat traffic. And there's not a lot of traffic. What the hell happened here? Well, listen, I, I hope you guys don't mind some of these. I mean, it started off popping and uh, I don't know, it's, it's died out a little bit. But I hope you guys don't uh, dislike some of these conversations that we have that are not just so, so crazy, right? I think that's what makes the chit show very diverse and interesting. Because we talk a lot of chit. <laughs> and another thing. It's crazy. Over here, you know, when you have Hispanic parents, there's a lot of hand-me-downs, right? So, <laughs> and this is this is one of the same things. I, I wish I had a picture of it. <laughs> I don't even know if I should open up this can of worms because it's a can of worms, guys. It's a can of worms. What's happened here? So. Whatever, I get this, this, this shirts, you know? My mom used to smoke, so I was always mad about my, 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 my shirt smelling like cigarette because I would be like, be like, yo, Alfred, what well, Marlboro did you smoke, uh, smoke today? Yada, yada, whatever. So I, I had that in my mind. So I grabbed any shirt that was there that looked like it would fit, fit me from the, we didn't even have a washer at that time. Uh, we had to go get it downstairs from the building we were in. It was, it was rough, guys. I, 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 we had a good, good upbringing, and then it got real, real bad, and then it got good again, you know? So, and uh, I pick a shirt that says, choose life. And uh, all, that's all I said, it was choose life. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh, a lot of the teachers were like, you can't wear that. No, man, you're crazy. Days off, why? Why would we do that? You don't take a day off. No, man, you can't. Hey, tomorrow's never promised, bro. Chicho now and forever. Oh boy, we got a startup over here. What's going on over here, testing? Well, yeah, so I'm here walking around oblivious to what choose life means. 
and then like like I felt like they were getting me in trouble right and you know I didn't know the politics or the you know the drama and all that stuff and guys I, I, I don't get I don't get involved I'm just telling you a story of what I was wearing one day you guys have your own opinion you guys you know I have my opinion but I choose not to be political on my channel right oh man this guy's this guy's checking something out is that, is that a mechanic or who is it so I thought I was gonna get in trouble and then being you know a nosy 12 year old or 10 year old or however old I was at the time I want to know and I asked my parents I was like yo no joke my mom to this day she's my, you know she passed right but she had no idea what it meant she, she goes, hey, ¿qué es eso? Está limpio. ¿Qué, qué pasa? ¿Qué tiene que apestar ese yarro? <laughs> Did it smell like cigarette? I was like, no, bro. Oh, so. So, and I came to find out. There was actually a teacher that told me. Um, and it was kind of wrong of her to tell me that, right? Because I was like, oh, boy. Here's the, here's the thing. Oh, there it is. Damn it. Yes. And now my comment section is going to get mad at you because your Florida flag look, looks like it's higher than your American flag. And that, sir, they were all the same height, guys, but the angle of the, of the crash, you know what I'm saying? I, so, so yeah, that was, that was my effed up upbringing um, in Hialeah, guys. Like I said, I always say it. If, if you make it out of Hialeah, you can make it anywhere. Bro, my camera wasn't working! He, he'll see the video later. <laughs> He's like, it's gonna be like, bro, you had to touch that topic while, while I'm on film? What the hell? Yeah, guys. Life is interesting. Let me tell you something. I remember, I remember, like, like I remember growing up with two live crew and seeing how the pushback was from both sides they're like no we're gonna go ahead and play this and then they're like no the other side was like not gonna play this and it's so funny how when you have the experience of time to just look at things oh boy because i remember that was like a huge shit show the, the whole two life crew here um and there was there was a rapper called luther campbell and i'll tell you they had senate hearings oh boy he, he got a little thing there they had Senate hearings. They had a bunch of hearings. Oh boy, he's he's whiskey throttling back there. Oh boy, oh, nobody got. Oh, she missed it. Oh no, no, she got it. She got it. She got it. Um, and you see the the debate, right? Which is which is what America's about. Debate, right? Everybody has their own thing. And, and I remember, I remember that. And then as kids, we would play it. My my dad personally didn't like anything that had to do with bad words. And I would play a guy named Tupac and Biggie, which are rappers, really popular rappers. And when I was a kid, cause that's what I was around, right? Who's, who knows what's gonna happen in the next 10 years? Like, like now, right now, there's a trend on TikTok. Some girl is basically eating emojis. That's how she makes money. And she's making a ton of money. People, okay, people will spend hard earned money. They put the money on the app for TikTok so they can give it to the creators. And then they throw like a baseball bat, if it's a baseball player, a cupcake, and she just opens her mouth and eats it. This lady is making $7,000 a day doing this. So guys, check out my TikTok. <laughs> We're starting this next week. Oh my goodness, the world. The world is mad. Hey, guys, what won't change is that flag. It'll always be that one. As long as there's freedom-loving Americans in America, right? Alfred Montana making a scene as always. Guys, I hope you guys like the chicho. Don't forget to check out my website, Luxury Rib Tenders, R-I-B Tenders.com if you want to see some merch and stuff. Where's my kudo? Bro? Where's my kudo? My kudo's not around. Where is she? I haven't seen her in a couple days. All right, well, I'm out of here. Boom!
You did a good job. I'm not putting you on the channel. No, you did a good job. I'm not putting you on the channel. Yes, you do a good job. You're not coming out on the channel. Demon O, what's up, man? Fishing? I'm starting to think that you're an undercover CIA agent, bro. What is going on? You don't give no alpha and and ever. <laughs> he's always out of the water and he's like, no, nah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing over here at the boat ramp. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Last time I spoke to him, he says he was going to go to to get some tilefish, which is pretty deep. That's like a deep water fish. But he goes out a lot. That's good. He's enjoying his boat. Guys, the best way you can keep a boat alive is by using it. it really, it really is. That's, I mean, and the crazy thing is, the more successful you are, the less you use it. It's, it's crazy. You would think it's the opposite way. So the question is, who really has a good life, right? That's the question. Who really has a good life? Um, so big shout out to all those guys that use their boat. That's a, uh, I mean, uh, I, I would say that I want to use my boat more, but I really don't. I want to be on a boat, but not do the things that boat have to do I don't want to trailer it I don't want to clean it I don't want to look at it oh boy hold on time out there's something going on over here But I'll be on the pontoon boat. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> you guys swear. Swear! Alright, good, good. I know right now you guys are saying, why don't you guys use fenders in Florida? Guys, I don't know. We just don't. It's a sign of weakness. No, it's not. It's really not. I don't know. I don't know. People, you know, it's like 40 bucks for this. I'm going to spend $40 on this thing. Another $40 for the other side. Nah, I'm not. I'm not spending $80 to protect my, you know, $100,000 boat. Are you crazy? <laughs> what kind of sense does that make? Hell no. I could buy another speaker with that money. All right. We got more boats coming in. Let's go see what's going on over here. Ooh, the current is starting to move a little bit. Fighting him. Uh oh, whiskey, 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 whiskey throttle. There it is, you got it back. Ooh, got kind of close there. A little bit interesting. Hey! 
I'm not putting your good duck, bro. I'm not putting it on there. I don't care what you say or do. I don't buy hey, you still haven't taken the truck out. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Wait for it. I will feel terrible right now if that kid bloop bloops his truck. I would. I'd still put on the clip though. Watch and learn. He's got he's got the engine up. He doesn't have this truck at risk. So his his wheels are not in the water. It's low tide. Smart move. He already hooked up his his thing. He's lifting up his engine. This kid's on point. This kid's on point. But he has a license suspended, guys. And what's going on, man? How you guys doing? How was the day? Good. Oh wow, nice. How was the water? Was it bumpy? On the way back, yeah, I picked up a little bit. Hey, welcome back to the boat ramp. Huh? Welcome back to the boat ramp. All right, guys. Um, so, yes. Um, no, I'm just joking around. His license is suspended. He's got a bench warrant. <laughs> hey! I just called the police officer. I just called an officer to stop you over here on 248th. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm from Montana, making a seat as always. Guys, learn from these kids. They're getting good. I'm out of here. Boom!